This $50 billion fund, the, the one we've been talking about that actually uh, you know, would take money from the banks and not the taxpayers, I feel like I have to say that every time because the Republicans keep lying about it, that would be a, a fund that we would use if we had to dissolve one of the banks, get rid of them, okay? That $50 billion fund, it turns out, of course, was proposed by a Republican. It was Bob Corker in negotiations with the Democrats that proposed the fund in the first place. So then the Republican Party turns around and says, oh, that $50 billion fund's a bailout fund. Now, was it smart to negotiate with the Republicans? You gave them what, you, what they wanted. They turned around and use it against you. Now, John Boehner puts out a statement, the leader of the Republicans in the House. You know what it says? He says, oh, it doesn't matter if you take out the $50 billion fund because Obama's going to take it out now because he's a bitch. Um, wh why, wh why doesn't it matter? They say, oh, we're going to say it's a bailout anyway. Wh why are we having a negotiation with these guys? They say, oh, we're going to call it a bailout even if you take out the, the one provision we were against, you know, we claimed that was the thing that we cared most about, you're going to take it out and we're going to make the same exact argument. The Republicans are not honest actors. We, we keep, the press keeps treating them as if, oh, what does that side say? There's no other side. They're p paid whores of corporate America. Okay? It's like saying, oh, well, like, do they have their good intentions in mind of their voters? It's like asking if Bill Belichick has good intentions for Indianapolis fans. No, he doesn't. He has very bad intentions for Indianapolis fans. He wants to beat the living crap out of the Colts and then uh, s smile about it and spit in your eye. I mean, it's crazy to think that these Republicans give a damn at all when they tell you we're going to be disingenuous. We're going to say, here, take this, and as soon as you take it, we're going to blame you for taking it. And as soon as you take it out, we're going to blame you anyway. Now, why did I just call Obama a bitch? Okay, because, one, you keep humoring these guys. Like, oh, my God, oh, uh, l let me be kind and humble and polite with these guys. And, and okay, and I could live with that. It was some sort of grand strategy that people thought was brilliant, but I didn't understand in my small little mind. I can't understand these things. You know, Obama's brilliance just blinds me, and I, and I can't see straight. Whatever. Okay? That would be one thing. But it's... No, but in this case, the much more important thing, which happens, unfortunately, in a lot of cases, is the action itself. It's not the words, it's the action. So what are they going to do? They're going to take out that $50 billion fund. So the Republicans are totally wrong. They should have never done it. La, 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 la. Okay. And what does Obama do? He bows his head. But that's because he never wanted the fund in the first place. Geithner fought against it in the first place. He's Treasury Secretary. Because they don't really want to... Uh, they want to help the banks. They don't want to do real reform. They don't want to do real regulation. Well, for that, Jamie Dimon from, Go, uh, from J.P. Morgan said that he was against that. And he said, you know what? We'll take our money elsewhere. You know, we'll set up banks in Bangladesh. Well, frickin' good luck to you, man. Right, now, let's see if you get a bailout in Bangladesh. Like, they're threatening us. You're threatening us. Oh, man. I wish we had a president. Like, we did. We used to. Teddy Roosevelt, FDR. They said, oh, you're going to come mess with me. Okay, you're going to mess with the American voters that put me in power? No, I'm going to mess with you. And they were scared out of their minds when those guys walked in the room. When Obama walks into the room, I think they snicker. I'm in your face, Obama. I think this stuff is weak sauce. And I think you constantly giving into the Republicans and into Wall Street interests is disastrous for our country. There's an iceberg ahead, I tell you every freaking day, and I can't understand how they can't see it. Meanwhile, in a story here in Washington Post and many other papers, every paper I read today, uh, we're getting real close. Uh, we're going to get that reform package any second now, financial reform. Richard Sel Shelby, uh, Republican from Alabama, says, I'm more optimistic than I've ever been. John Thune, Republican of South Dakota, says, there are a lot of Republicans who want to be for this. We realize that in the end, something's going to pass. Oh, that looks, sounds good. Mitch McConnell, even that guy, uh, is backpedaling a little bit, saying, oh, they've taken the politics out of this a little bit. I respect them now a little bit more, la, la, la. Yeah, it's going to pass. You know, that's supposed to be good news, right? No, it's bad news. If that means they're going to make it bipartisan, that means they're going to make it weaker. And uh, as one of the people on Capitol Hill told the Washington Post, we've probably seen 1,500 lobbyists about this. They've spent uh, millions of our dollars 
buying our politicians, and in the end, you'll have a really weak reform bill that'll be a frickin' joke.